What is the ideal ISO setting for video? A more complex question to answer than one would think. Firstly, what exactly is ISO? What is going on everyone? Raf here from BNC Camera, and in today's video we'll be answering those two questions to help step up your video shooting game. Before we kick things off, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you're finding all the videos and tips we've created helpful. It helps us out a lot, and feedback helps in creating the next batch of educational content for you guys. Hard but enjoyable work for us, free 99 for you guys to do. It's a win-win. In any case, let's jump right back in. ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization. That's quite a mouthful, but what does that exactly mean? The sensitivity of your sensor to light is known as ISO. The ISO setting you choose depends on the amount of light in the situation you're capturing. You may lower your ISO if there's a lot of lighting in the shot, or raise it when there isn't enough light. ISO is one of the essential camera settings to understand. In most modern cameras, ISO numbers range from 100 to 6400. A few cameras have a maximum ISO of 80, while other cameras can reach a maximum number value of 25,000. Now changing your ISO between different videos you capture is one of the most significant advantages of digital videography. You couldn't change your ISO, or ASA as it was known back then, with film. So you would have to choose a film based on the native ability to capture light, and then take all of your photos at the same ASA rating. Using film made capturing scenes in a variety of lighting conditions very difficult. Now on to the bread and butter of today's topic, how to choose the best ISO for video. Here are some helpful guidelines for choosing an ISO. On a bright and sunny day, you can use a lower ISO setting because there is so much light. Less light is available on a cloudy day, so you might raise your ISO. Indoor videos have even less light than outdoor videos, so if you don't want to use an external light or LED light, you may increase your ISO to compensate for that. Let me list off some of the number ranges and what situations you would utilize these for when it comes to shooting your videos. 100 or 200 is the best ISO for sunny days or bright settings with lots of light. 400 ISO is for cloudy days or for indoor shoots. 800 ISO is for indoors without an external light. And lastly, anything 1600 and up in terms of ISO are going to be for your low light situations. Now these guidelines might be a little bit tricky to follow because it depends on your camera's capability, which changes from brand to brand. So you'll have to do the research on what your camera can do and then test it. For some cameras, 1600 is nothing, and you can get perfect images. For other cameras, 1600 is a max out ISO, and you'll start to see digital noise in your pictures and video, which is a big no-no. A big question that's probably floating in your head right now is, can I use the automatic ISO setting? Now, why wouldn't I use the automatic ISO setting, you may be wondering. Well, auto settings don't consider the noise level, and they mostly try to get exposure, which can ruin your photo or video in the process. Say, for example, you're coming from a bright room that's well lit into a darker room. Auto ISO will, of course, change itself accordingly based off of the lighting circumstances. In this case, the ISO would jump up, leading to more digital and noisy imagery. Hence why you probably wouldn't want to use auto ISO as a crutch. If your lens has a clickless aperture control feature, that would be a better and natural route to controlling the flow of light into your camera. Whether you're a photographer moving into digital photography or a videographer about to shoot a low light wedding, use your ISO extensively but sparingly. The golden rule is add light when you can and rely on ISO as little as possible. Other than that, it's a great tool and an essential side of your exposure triangle. Happy and bright shooting. We'll see you in the next video.